want to show here now is uh, how to start off a K-Tech Elite or Slate Shake panel. When you're doing a roof, a lot of times the eaves along a house is not always straight. But you want to track straight with your panels because you don't want to end up with too much overhang when you get down 60 feet or 50 feet on the other end of the house. One little trick to do to keep yourself going straight is to chalk a line along the bottom edge of the roof. So how you determine your line height where it should be is if you take your tape and you measure from the second step of your underlap side and you measure down. We got about 18 and a quarter inches to the bottom edge of this panel. So we want to have about three quarters of an inch overhang with this K-Tech panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that 18 and a quarter, we're going to take three quarters of an inch off. So that's going to leave us with 17 and a half inches we need to measure up. So if you come down here, you hook your tape on the eaves, and you measure up 17 and a half inches and put a mark. And that's where your chalk line mark's gonna be along your eaves. So you take a chalk line and get some fresh chalk in there because there's nothing worse than having a chalk line that doesn't leave you a good clean line because you're always guessing. So you take your chalk line on the line Nice clean snap on there. You'll see that we got a really nice crisp clean line along there. That's very important to keep in your panel straight as you're going along the bottom. What we want to do now is we want to take our, our panel, whether it's K-Tech Elite or Slate Shake, here we have a K-Tech panel, and we want to place this panel, and we want to place that second step right on that line. So when you're doing your K-Tech panel and you got a round gable on the house, what you want to do is you want to keep this K-Tech panel about three quarters of an inch in from your gable fascia. And then you want to take the panel and drop this panel down until your second step is on that line. You'll see that the second step here is right on that line. So now you know that when you measure this bottom here, you're going to be three quarters of an inch overhang and three quarters of an inch overhang. So when you place your first panel on and you've got it on this line, what you want to do is just put a couple of screws in the bottom of the panel and a couple of screws in the top of the panel. Don't get too many screws into the panel because you may not be going 100% square. And you don't want to have to take all those screws back out if you're not going square, so there's no point in putting them in. Just put them in there so that the panel is there and it's going to be in a good position to try your next panel. So when you're installing your second panel on your roof, you've got a couple of screws in the first one here now just to hold it there. You take your second panel, stay a little bit above it, and you'll notice your helper on the top of the roof, he's going to have his hand in there keeping those, that panel up. So you're, you're up out of position at the top, because you want to try fitting your bottom in first. So you slide the panel down, and you'll notice that we're flush. From one panel to the other we're flush, and we got a tight step in here. So when you got that, you want to place your screws and just stitch the panel together. So when you're stitching panels together, that's just meaning that you're just screwing the two pieces of metal together. You're not going down into your strapping or into your plywood decking. So once you've got a couple of screws in the bottom of the panel, your partner at the top of the roof, he should place his panels into position up there. Only stitching the panels together because you may not be going 100% square. So what we want to show you here is how to get this roof a little bit off square. So what's going to happen and how are you going to get that panel to go back up if you need to or how are you going to get it to come down if you need to to stay on the line.
So we want to show you by putting it a little bit off square so that you know what to do when you start going off square, how to correct it. So you'll notice when we're doing our K-Tech panel and when you're doing our Elite panel, you'll notice our screws here are going to be a little bit off center. We're going to be a little more over towards the overlap edge of the panel. When you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to end up with a tighter overlap on your panel. So keep your screws a little bit off center, only on your overlap edges. So you'll notice now we have four panels installed on our roof here and we've got a screw in every step going from bottom to top. The reason why you want to put a screw in every step is because if you got to push or pull, you don't want them panels to come apart. You want them to be nice and solid and the whole unit is going to move. Now you'll see the tops of the panels here, we got them dammed up as we were shown in a video about damming the tops of your panels. A really good reason for damming the panels is to stop water from blowing up underneath the ridge. If you're in a windy area on a lake or in an open field in the countryside, you could get water blowing up underneath the roof. Another great thing for having that dam up there is to get a good grip on the panels because you don't want to grab the panels from the side because if those panels don't move, you could cut your fingers. So your partner up at the top here, he's going to be able to grab those panels and pull it up and, and have some good grip on that panel. So you'll notice here now we're going off square. We've got a line here and our step is away down here. When we started out down there, this second step was right on the line. So what did we, we wanted to start a little off square so that you would be able to see how to get these panels to go up. So your good buddy up at the top up there is going to grab those panels and he's going to pull those panels up and you'll see these panels move. So he's going to pull them up until you're on that line. So now you know you're going to have the same consistency along the bottom edge of the roof having a three quarter inch overhang like we started with. So if you got a really long panels and say you're doing a roof that's got like 25, 30 foot panels, they're not going to be so easy to pull up. So you want to have a good set of C-clamps like our partner here at the top's got and you clamp onto the top of that panel. Then he's got lots of grip to grab that C-clamp and pull. So he can pull up, you know, 25, 30 foot panel is going to be fairly easy to pull up. Now if he needs to get a little more leverage in there, he can't just quite get enough, he can put his hammer in there, in that C-clamp, and actually use it like a lever to get those panels to go up. So now what we want to show you is, if you can't get those panels to go right up to that line to get your same consistent overhang, on the underlap side you can put a roofing screw in there, Put it in there on an angle right where the step is and if you lift up on this a bit, put the screw so it goes down and it starts to penetrate the wood. Put the screw in with the drill, it'll start to pull those roofing panels up and it'll help you with that little extra pull. Like say you got some 25-30 foot panels, you may need to do that to get the last quarter or maybe three eighths of an inch of those things to go up. But make sure you take that screw back out after you get it up and then you go back and you put some screws in there. Make sure you take it out. So after you have these four panels on and you're staying on the line, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can go the rest of the way and you're going to be clean free and have the same overhang all the way down. So what you want to do is maybe you want to put another four panels on move it up or down where you need to be on the line and then put some screws in it to keep those panels in place and then continue on maybe with the next four panels. If you seem to be staying right on the line and you're hitting that line every time then you can put more screws in it as you go. So if you happen to be going along and you're coming above the line and you're losing your overhang all you have to do at the top of the panel is push your panels down, get your mark on the line, put a few screws in it and you're clean to go.